The U.S. Supreme Court in the 1970s received a case out of the San Francisco Unified School District. The case is called Lau versus Nichols, and it established a very important principle which becomes the basis for the requirement for English as a second language in U.S. public schools. What the Supreme Court said in that case was that Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 protects children who are not proficient in English and their parents from discrimination. And in order to provide them their rights, they need to be provided English as a second language in some valid form in order that they not only learn English, but also gain access to the content of instruction. Both of those goals are equally important and both must be a result of whatever program the district undertakes. What's very interesting about the Lau case is that at the time that the lawsuit was filed at the federal district court level, you had 2,856 children of Chinese ancestry who were attending the San Francisco public schools. Only about a thousand of them were getting some kind of English as a second language, but almost 2,000 were sitting in a classroom not understanding what the content was of the curriculum and not gaining any access to learning English. And the Supreme Court said that was a violation of their civil rights under Title VI. Title VI prohibits discrimination on the basis of race, color, or national origin in any program receiving federal financial assistance because all public schools receive some form of federal assistance, Title VI applies. If a school does not receive federal assistance, then Title VI does not apply. I find occasionally that districts think that putting a child in a mainstream classroom without an English as a second language program and curriculum is acceptable because it is uh, a way to have the child learn English, but it's exactly the kind of problem that the Supreme Court found in violation of federal law in the Lau versus Nichols case.